welcome everyone. We're going to continue our little segment on how to do it and of course why to do it, the, the logic behind uh, some of these nutrition farming strategies. And I'm going to talk about one of the groups of organisms that I'm particularly enamored with. You would have heard it on the podcast at varying times. Uh, it's a product called BAM, which stands for Beneficial Anaerobic Microbes. And it is so insanely easy to multiply and make a really inexpensive do-it-yourself living fertilizer. But let's talk about some of the benefits of these organisms. Some of you may have heard of EM previously, the Japanese invention, effective microbes. It's used in many parts of the world, not so widely in Australia, but elsewhere. And Europe, Germany, for example, it's a really big product. This is a similar concept. It's got a few more added organisms, uh, but it includes many of the same organisms found in EM, and it has many of the similar benefits. Let's talk a little about, about some of those benefits. Now, number one, really, really good for disease management. There are a variety of organisms amongst the 65 organisms found in BAM, a variety of organisms that can control a variety of diseases. So uh, it has value from that perspective. There are nitrogen fixes, particularly an organism called purple non-sulfur bacteria, this wonderful organism that's actually quite widely used commercially in countries like Korea. Uh, but purple non-sulfur bacteria, amongst other claims to fame, including the fact that they can photosynthesize, um, their other claim to fame is that they fix nitrogen. Uh, and one of the reasons that we try to brew, as we're going to teach you at a small scale, we're going to also teach a thousand litres a little later, that we try and brew in a, in, a, in a container through which sunlight can pass so that this particular organism can have the sunlight required for it to multiply as purple non-sulfur bacteria. Now, really, really cool for composting. There's a whole BAM composting strategy that we teach. It's, it's just two months, eight weeks. It's an anaerobic. It's, like a, it's really like making a silage pit where you make your compost, your carbon layer, your nitrogen layer, and each of those layers is wet, wet down with a lot of BAM and water so that you've got the spores throughout each layer. And then you just cover with a silage cover or a big plastic tarp the entire pile when you're finished and you don't touch it again. You come back eight weeks later and you've got this beautiful black compost that's very, very productive in the soil. So that's accelerating compost. Um, you can do things like, because it's an anaerobe, in many cases like, say, dairy farming scenarios where, you know, you've got this stinking manure pond that is something of a liability in some instances, that can become an asset. You can put these organisms into the pond. They don't need oxygen, so they do really well in that anaerobic scenario and they turn the entire pond into a pond of living fertilizer and they grow and multiply within the pond. It's a wonderful concept. Uh, detoxification, they used actually quite widely in China uh, to clean up soils. And of course, there's probably more need than other countries in that quite polluted regions of China to clean up soils. And so it's, it's got quite a detoxification process. Uh, really amazing seed treatment. Now, it's, you make it yourself, it's almost free as a seed treatment. The kind of 10 litres per tonne of seed that you require literally costs you a dollar per tonne of seed uh, when you've made it yourself. So really, really low cost living fertiliser with multiple roles. You can put it through liquid inject, you can put it on seed. Now, because it's such a powerful uh, enhancer of germination, we, we, we understand that seeds can last for 70 years in the soil and there's certain triggers that say, now's my time and they pop from the soil. And that might be soil heat or a specific pH or an, an overdose of a certain mineral or whatever. Um, but what has been found with both BAM and EEM that you can use very high rates and you can trigger everything to suddenly sprout. And then before it flowers, you turn it in like a green manure crop and you use that strategy to exhaust the weed bank. Now, I've not tried that, the weed seed bank. Uh, it's a great concept and, you know, apparently, I know mean, I've yet to try it myself, but it's a great concept if it works. Um, so, of course, you're reducing weeds in that context. Uh, really, really effective at digesting cellulose. So these organisms, even though they're anaerobic, when you put them on standing stubble or stubble that's, that you want to break down and turn into humus, uh, it's, actually, it's, it's actually a facultative anaerobe that does really well in the oxygen or without oxygen and actually gets even hyperactive. Uh, one organism called Lactobacillus plantarium is a very, very strong cellulose digester and it kind of goes ballistic 
when you spray it on stubble in terms of breaking that stubble down and converting it to humus. So wonderful from that perspective. Uh, it's used, EM for example, is used throughout Asia to manage smells and things like confined animal situations like piggeries and so forth where you get that very strong ammonia smell that you can even taste in the pork in some instances and it just removes that smell from that scenario. Uh, even in the home scenario, if you've got a septic tank, a, a cup or two of VAM in the septic tank, you don't need to have it cleaned. It's digested in that anaerobic environment uh, and, you know, can save you some money. Uh, it can remove dog smells of all things. Uh, it can kill algae in troughs and it also has a probiotic effect, so you're doing two things at once. Uh, so many benefits from one thing. Of course, we use it in the context of the idea of putting the microbes behind the minerals. So once you've brewed it and you've got it, it's very, very stable. It will last for as long as two years just sitting out in the paddock in a, in a container. Uh, so there's no microbes that I know of that are that stable. And so you can put little bits with everything that you do and you can magnify the effect with this concept of putting the microbes behind the minerals. So let's talk about how simple it is to do. So we're using this 60 litre sort of home brew scenario. We're gonna put a top on it with this very simple one-way valve. You know, these are $5 from a home brew shop uh, so that it can breathe as it's multiplying, it's releasing CO2 and it needs to have a, a valve. And we'll talk about how you do that on a much larger scale in a thousand litre container in the next segment. But this is just, we'll do the job for the 60 litre container. So we're gonna take 10% of the mother culture, 10% of the BAM, which we've conveniently put six litres, 60 litre container, into this bucket. And so we'll pour that in. This is the mother culture. It's a high rate of mother culture, uh, 10%, but that works and works very quickly. Uh, and so that's what we've maintained. It's the best way to brew it and to get as close as possible to the original mother culture. And then we use molasses and we're going to use 5% molasses, which in 60 litres is three litres of molasses. And this is one and a half of those litres. And I'll ask Carl to refill that because we've only got the one container. And we put a little bit of extra food. We use a, a product called Sea Change KFF. So we've got fish with all of the fats, carbohydrates and proteins. In fact, it's a full food source within liquid fish, some kelp and some folic acid in a product called Sea Change KFF. And we use about 300 mils in this scenario into this 60 litre recipe. And that just provides that whole spectrum of trace minerals and a bit of extra food for these organisms as they multiply. And then we top it up with some water. So we're going to fill this up with 60 litres. We're going to put the top when it's completed uh, and seal the top and it'll breathe through that one way valve as the organisms multiply. And usually within 10 days when it's warm, a bit longer if it's cold, but 10 days sitting outside in the sun, within 10 days, the pH of the solution would have dropped down to 3.5. That's the measure at which it's complete. So you can use a pH meter and check and at 3.5, it's completed, you've got the like little sardines in there, there's so many of them, uh, and they'll stay stable then uh, for up to two years. Uh, and that can, that's just at normal ambient temperature. So, um, you know, even in the heat, we've had, had them sitting in really hot sun during the summer and they still stay active and they still work really well. And so we don't do anything on either of the two nutrition farms properties that doesn't have some BAM with it. Uh, and we get some tremendous results. I just heard from um, one of our worm juice producers, a very good company called Worms Down Under. Whoop. Let's just fill this up. And he was talking about using his worm juice, a wonderful worm juice combined with BAM and one litre of a product called Allotech. Aloe vera is an amazingly powerful biostimulant. And he was describing these really, really sensational results in pasture using a combination of, we'll just fill it to the top. Uh, using a combination of BAM worm juice, we're going to teach you how to make a worm extract a little later, uh, and this product called Allotech, which is concentrated aloe vera, this wonderful biostimulant, just a litre per hectare with this wonderful result in pasture. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our 60 litres now, and we're going to now screw on our, our lid. It's as simple as this, tightly and it'll start bubbling. We'll put a little, we'll fill that up with a little bit of water so you can watch it bubble. And within 10 days, sitting out in the sun, it'll be complete and you've just made 60 litres 
of this really, really productive beneficial blend of beneficial anaerobes called BAM. Welcome back. So what we're going to show in this segment of how to do it is how easy it is to set up your own anaerobic brewing station. It really is one of the simplest things you'll do on the farm. We talked about this material called beneficial anaerobic microbes, more commonly called BAM, which is very similar to another product called EM. And it's wonderful user friendliness on the farm in the sense that you can multiply the organisms out in the sun because they like sunlight when they're multiplying. Uh, and you've got two year stability once you've, once you've done that. So we're gonna teach you how simple it is and how inexpensive. There's nothing simpler in terms of microbe multiplication than brewing beneficial anaerobes. So your tools or your, your equipment, 1,000 litre shuttle, which is $100 second hand, must be something that's clean, that doesn't have you know, some sort of toxic chemical storage that can Im embed in the plastic, so you need a clean one. And it's as simple as what we're trying to create is a one-way valve. Now, you know how you work with a brewing station, brewing beer, you have a simple little one-way valve. This is a much bigger one-way valve because you're dealing with 1,000 litres of liquid. And so we're gonna use a simple length of hose, one metre length of hose, and a bottle of water. And we're gonna drill a hole, 12 mil hole, in the top of the 1,000 litre shuttle. I prefer to do it in the shuttle, so it's purpose built for this purpose now, not in the lid, so that you can undo the lid without disturbing uh, your, your one-way valve. So we put it, we're gonna drill a hole here, we'll do that right now. We'll put the hose back here. So we're gonna drill our hole. Looks just about right, let's have a look. Not quite, oh yes, perfect. Now what you might do, this is the end of this meter length of hose is gonna be in the airspace. So it's only going down so far, because you're not gonna fill it right to the top. So in the airspace, not in the liquid, in the airspace. So that's about where it is now. What we would typically do is run a bead of silastic, of, of, um, of silica around the outside there, just to make sure that it's safe that it's sealed. And the second end is going to go into the bottle that we're going to affix to the side, uh, just with a plastic strap. Just put it in. Very, very simple and crude. Uh, the other end of the hose goes into the bottle, to the bottom of the bottle, and what you've effectively created is a one-way valve. The CO2 that's produced as these organisms multiply, and they do so every 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, they're gonna double in numbers. They're spewing out CO2, breathing out CO2 as they multiply. That has to escape, or you poison the organisms within, and this is the way, that, and you don't want oxygen because they're anaerobes, so you've shut out the oxygen, but the CO2, and the, and the bottle will bubble. Um, when you, I'll just put that back a bit so it can bubble. Um, the bottle will bubble and when the bubbling stops, and that'll be quite quick in summer and much slower, it'll just go gloop, gloop, or less often than that in colder conditions. Uh, but in summer, it's about a week to 10 days to multiply your BAM. Uh, we would add the mother culture uh, into the 1,000 litre shuttle. We use a high rate. We've found that 100 litres of mother, mother culture with 50 litres of molasses. Now that's a 10% inoculum and 5% food, which is much higher than normal multiplication. But what we've shown with that high, uh, high rate of inoculum is that we get this pretty much a carbon copy of the mother culture without any kind of other organisms coming in or any kind of deterioration of that mother blend. So uh, you can do it with less and it'll work. The first time round, you're using your 100 litres of BAM, 50 litres of molasses, 850 litres of water, and whatever time it takes till the bottle stops bubbling and the job's done. And the second time around, you can only do it once because you start losing some of the integrity of the mother culture. But the second time around gets really exciting. First time around costs you about 30 cents a litre and you're using like 20 litres a hectare or less for foliar. So it's very, very inexpensive. You know, 20 litres for liquid inject. So that's like five or six dollars. Um, five litres for foliar or to break down stubble. It's really, really inexpensive. But the second brew, you're going to leave 100 litres in the bottom when you've used 900 litres of your first brew, add the molasses, no further inoculum, which is the more expensive part of the equation, add your 50 litres of molasses, top it up to, to 1,000 litres, and the second time around you brewed it for about five cents a litre. You can't do that more than once. You start deteriorating the mother, but 
uh, very, very inexpensive microbial living fertilizer that you will be excited about if you play around with it. There's many, many people who use BAM across the globe now. Thank you.